Hey everybody, Wax with the Comics, and I'm back. This time I want to show you some of my books I picked up at the 50 cent bins and a couple of flea market finds I ended up getting recently. If you want to see what books I ended up picking up, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, welcome back. This is going to be one of probably a few videos I put out this week while I'm on vacation. So if you have the time, hit that bell notification so you can see those videos. Smash that like because I greatly appreciate it. So ended up, I don't know, maybe about a month ago or so. There's an antique shop near me that does, you know, some sales from time to time. And um, the owner ended up buying like... I think 40 or 50 long boxes, a, a good collection. So uh, they were doing 50 cent bins, basically trying to clear everything out. So like I had a little bit of time, went with my son, ended up doing a little bit of digging. So I'm going to show you what I ended up getting. All right. First one was Blood Realm issue number three. If you haven't heard of this, uh, this title, there's been three volumes that's already completed. It's a three issue series. Um, really good read if you're into the dark fantasy like horror I think you should pick this up you can pick these up in alternacomics.com as well probably for a few bucks can't go wrong when it was a dollar fifty cover price but I uh, got up 50 cents uh, going back to alterna they would do these free previews I mean not free previews but uh, they would do these uh, previews for upcoming series and it would be two bucks, but well, this is, it came out on a Wednesday, issue number two. And these, um, I want to say issues one through four were pretty low print in general, but they're rather hard to find. And uh, they usually do these like, you know, horror, sci-fi type of covers. This is a pretty cool monster cover. All right. Now, here you go. It came out, of, it came out on a Wednesday, issue number three. This is more of the uh, sci-fi type of robots attacking the city. Really cool. And uh, like I said, it tells you here on the side all the upcoming stories and, um, you know, the writers and the artists and stuff like that. So a pretty cool check out. Um, next one is Avengers vs. X-Men, issue number one, the third printing. Uh, this, I believe, is... The second appearance of Sam Alexander as Nova. So I was a little surprised to see that there for 50 cents. Uh, next book I found, this was at the a different antique shop. This was not 50 cents. This was $3. And uh, this was Lobo to Duck, issue number one. Had to put a little bit of... Uh, uh, you know, Lobo's my, uh, probably one of my favorite villains in DC. And you always have like a little soft spot for Howard the Duck. So when I saw this cover, I was like, I've never seen this before. I was like, I had to pick this up. It's a really funny cover. It says, Trapped in the World, He Never Fragged. <laughs> so that was that was pretty neat. Uh, next book, Deadpool, issue number five. Ended up getting this for uh, cover price. And this is the uh, cover type of the Garbage Pail Kids. I think that's probably my third or fourth copy. Whenever I see those, I pick them up. If you find them for like five bucks or less, pick them up. Um, back in the 50 cent bin, Bloodshot issue number seven, right? Yeah. This is First Parents of Ninjak. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, he just got another um, solo series. I don't know what volume they're at now, volume three or volume four. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But uh, I know he just definitely got a new solo series, so check that out. And the last book I ended up picking up, this was, um, I went not too long ago as well, probably about a month ago. I went to the uh, Raynham Flea Market and went through a few different vendors, ended up only picking up one book, so I figured I'd add it onto this, uh, this haul. And this is Namor, the Submariner, issue number... 23. This is a lower grade copy, probably like a 4 5, 5 0, something like that. But this is the first appearance of Orca, and it's a uh, cover appearance. This is the villain right here. 
I figured with the upcoming, you know, introduction to Namor the Submariner, hasn't been official yet, but we all know the character's coming. So, um, I figured I'd pick up some of his early villains. So this is a cool, cool villain to spec on. So Orca, the human killer whale. So, uh, as you can see, cost me seven bucks. Not bad price, but it is Silver Age, so can't go wrong with that. Finished, figured I'd finish off with a Silver Age book. So, uh, that's it for now. Hopefully, if you like that, smash that like. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, Marks with the Comics. Out.